assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss derivatives of implicit function now if we consider a function you know that the function is simply represented as y equals to f of x or we express function in this form here x is the dependent independent variable y is the dependent variable like if we have y equals to f of y equals to 5x plus 2 here this uh, rhs is simply you know terms containing x variable lhs is you know containing y terms so this means that here we are able to separate x and y on both sides from both sides so this function is called as the explicit function but if we have a, the function which is of the form of x plus sine of x y equals to 5 here in this case we are not able to separate x and y on two sides such functions where we are not able to separate the dependent and the independent variable on two sides uh, are called as the implicit function now question arises how to find you know the derivative of implicit functions you know the derivative means to find uh, differentiation of dependent variable with respect to independent variable here in this case in if we have this function y equals to f of x x is here independent variable y is here dependent variable here differentiation to find differentiation means to find dy by dx similarly in such functions that is in implicit functions we have to find a dy by dx like if we have x minus cos xy equals to 5 this is implicit function because we are not able to separate x and y on two sides so simply differentiate this equation with respect to x because x is here independent variable it is d by dx of x minus cos xy equals to d by dx of 5. Now differentiation of difference or uh, differential of difference function equals to the uh, difference of the differentials. That is d by dx of x minus d by dx of cos xy equals to differentiation of 5. You know the differentiation of x is 1. It is here 1. Now minus differentiation of firstly differentiate this cos only this trigonometric function that is base function which is cos and you know that the differentiation of cos is minus sine so minus minus becomes it is plus sine now angle it is sine xy then we have to differentiate next uh, you know, minus next we have to differentiate the angle because here we are applying the chain rule of differentiation chain rule of differentiation so it is d by dx of xy equals to differentiation of constant is 0. Now we have to here we have to differentiate this d by dx of xy. Means we have two functions, individual functions. One is x, second one is y. So using the product rule of differentiation, it is 1 plus sine of xy. 1 plus sine of xy. And to the differentiation of uh, the product of two functions x and y. First function into differentiation of second that is y plus y second function into differentiation of first that is x now here it's one plus sine x y now x dy by dx we are uh, we have to find this it is dy by dx plus y into differentiation of x is y simply now here we are able to separate the terms it is x dy by dx plus y the term in this bracket equals to minus one when we transfer this to this side it became as minus one here sine of x y is in multiplication when we transfer it it uh, we have to divide this to this minus one so here the new term becomes x uh, dy by dx plus y equals to minus one upon sine x y here we are able to separate this y also it is minus y on this side since we have to find dy by dx so dy by dx is simply minus y uh, minus one upon x into one upon sine x y plus 1 upon y so in this way we can find you know the differentiation or the differential of any implicit function so this is the procedure so simply uh, differentiate the given uh, function with respect to the independent variable then you can find the differentiation of the given function now the second one is how to find derivative of the inverse trigonometric functions Inverse trigonometric functions are we have generally 6 sine inverse, cos inverse, tan, cosec, sec, cot. 
you know the uh, differentiation or simply the derivatives of the tr general trigonometric function or simple trigonometric function here we are going to you know use such to find you know the differentiation or the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions now the first one is sine inverse x now if we put y equals to sine inverse x this means that x equals to sine y sine y then differentiate this with respect to x it is one because when we differentiate on both sides differentiation of x is with respect to x is one differentiation of sine with respect to y with x is cos of y then we have to differentiate this y it is dy by dx or simply dy by dx is one upon cos y but y is here sine inverse x which implies that dy by dx is one upon cos of sine inverse x name it equation first you know that sine uh, square y plus cos square y is one which implies that cos y is root of one minus sine square y sine square y so put uh, here uh, this uh, cos y because dy by dx is either one upon cos y or dy by dx is uh, one upon cos sine inverse x so simply we will put here cos y as one upon root one minus sine square y hence it became as dy by dx became as uh, one upon cos y that is one upon root one minus sine square y but we put uh, y equals to sine inverse x or x equals to sine y that is sine y is here x means x square which implies that dy by dx is one upon root one minus x square one upon dy by dx is one upon uh, root one minus x square where x not equals to minus one and one because if we put x equals to one or minus one it, this dy by dx becomes not define it so this means that we can differentiate this only when x e not equals to one or x not equals to minus one similarly if we put y equals to cos inverse x let y equals to cos inverse x means that x equals to cos y when we differentiate this equation it is simply an lhs it is one because differentiation of x is one then cos differentiation of cos is minus sine that is minus sine y then differentiate this because by the chain rule it is uh, dy by dx that is dy by dx is minus 1 upon sine y or minus 1 upon in terms of cos it is root of 1 minus cos square y but cos y is here x that is simply minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square which implies that dy by dx is minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square here this x should not equals to 1 or minus 1 so which implies that x is simply and uh, this uh, in this if uh, this exists this means that x should belongs to minus one and one but open interval similarly you can find you know the tan inverse because x equals to tan y if we put this uh, if we put y equals to tan inverse x this means that x equals to tan y then differentiate uh, as we differentiated above it is simply x equals to tan y that is one equals to differentiation of tan is sex square y dy by dx or dy by dx is one upon sex square y you know that by identity one plus tan square y is sex square y which implies that one upon tan square y in the denominator but tan y is here x this means that tan square y is x square it is dy by dx equals to one upon x square you know that this uh, one upon x square this one plus x square has no root in this r which implies that one plus x square is never equals to zero in r if we or simply we can say when x is real this means that one plus x square is not equals to zero for any x hence this derivative that is dy by dx exists for each and every real number that is for all x belongs to r so in this way you can find you know the uh, differentiation of the rest uh, uh, three uh, inverse trigonometric functions like cosec inverse sec inverse and cot inverse so thank you